Hello Python programmers. So this is the video 18th of our machine learning with Python video series. And in this video, we're gonna discuss about decision tree regression. So just like our previous videos, this video is also divided into two sections. In the first section, we'll see the theory behind the decision tree regression. What is decision tree regression and how it works. In the second section, we'll work on actual data set and see that how we can apply decision tree to a real life data set. Okay, so let's quickly jump to our first section. Okay, so now we are into a pen paper setup. Now I'm using this setup because it gives me more freedom to explain the theoretical concepts so from now onwards all the machine learning theory part will be discussed in this pen paper setup only okay so this is paper this is pen okay so let's say that this is our data set plotted on a scatter plot so now let me zoom in uh, just a little bit so that you can take a more nicer look at our data set okay so let's say that the X axis is our independent variable X1. The Y axis is our independent variable X2. And the result or the dependent variable is coming out of the screen, which is our Z axis. Okay. Now, one more thing important to explain here is this decision tree regression works best when it is provided multiple independent variable. Okay. Now, I'm not saying this that it is not good for data set having one or two independent variable, but the best use of this decision tree regression comes when we use it for data set having multiple independent variable. Okay, so like five or six independent variable, you can use this decision tree there and it will give you very accurate results. Okay, so let's talk about decision tree. If someone asks, explain decision tree regression in one line, what would be your answer? Now, let me answer this for you. Decision tree is a machine learning algorithm that works on the decision made by data. Now, I know you are confused. Just stay for a second. Let me explain you what I mean. Let me draw another thing so that I can explain. So let's say that you have this block here. Okay, so what decision tree algorithm do is it divides your data set into small leaves. Okay, into small units. Let's say that the first division is made on the X axis or this X1 independent variable. Okay, so if X1 is greater than 15. Okay, so if the data lies on the left hand side which means that it is less than 50 then it will go to no part and if it is on the right hand side it will go to the yes part now i know it's it's a bit confusing but just stay for a few seconds because this will all make sense and your concepts will be crystal clear okay so this is the block and this is the block for no this is the block for yes and this is the block for no this is yes okay so this is yes and this is no now in the same way the algorithms will divide your data set into more sections into more yes and no decisions so let me first draw this section and then i'll explain you that how the algorithm will make the decisions Okay, so this is how this algorithm will work. It will divide your data set into small leaflets and then make the decisions accordingly. Now, let's say that the new data set that for which we want to predict the value is present somewhere here. Okay, this is the new data for which we want to find the output or result. Okay, so what this 
algorithm will do is it will follow this decision tree so let's say that this point is present at somewhere here okay so at x axis 60 and at y axis 200 okay so it will go through this decision tree or the questions asked by this algorithm and land at a specific leaf and in this case the leaf is this one okay so how will the final output be decided and this is very simple the final output will be the average output of this leaflet let's say that there are five values so the average y value of those five values okay so this is very simple algorithm let me round this up and then explain you in one go okay so the data set will be divided into multiple leaflets okay which are result of multiple decisions of yes and no and then the new data or the data set provided to us for which we want the output will be calculated on the basis of on what leaflet they land and then we calculate the average of that leaflet okay this is what the algorithm of decision tree is now decision tree regression is more complex than classification so take your time and watch this section once or twice if you want and if your concepts are clear then let's move ahead to our practical part where we'll work on our actual data set but make sure this concept is clear because I don't think there is much to explain this uh, decision tree will go on okay so let's move ahead to our practical part okay so now we are into a empty Jupyter notebook so first of all we'll start off with the importing of the required library which is numpy and pandas if you haven't installed numpy and pandas yet so what are you doing here install them first so just go to the command prompt and install uh, pip install pandas and pip install numpy it, it will go like numpy okay so just install them and then you can continue with this feature okay okay so we have imported numpy and pandas with the short notation of pd and np now let's load our data set okay so this is data set now I'm not gonna explain you each and every command that how we are loading the data set how we are doing this or that because I have already explained you the basics of numpy and pandas in separate videos the link will be provided in the description you can watch that video if you are interested in depth study of numpy and pandas and if you want to just learn that how this decision tree works you are on your own you can work here okay so what we'll do is we'll uh, say pd.read and then we'll write the csv file name uh, which is data i guess yeah data.csv so we'll write data.csv let's run this and we are getting an error because we haven't specified that what file it is it is a csv file if it's a JSON file, you'll write JSON here and so and so for other file formats. Then let's print, let's see that how our data set is so that I can explain you that what are the independent variables and what are the dependent variables. So there you can see this is not that big data set, but still it is good enough for decision tree to do its magic. Okay, so these all are useless variables for us in this video. Maybe if I create another video on this data set, I'll convert them using the feature scaling into numerical data and then use them also. But for now, we'll be focusing on these three values, uh, these three values as our independent variable and this last value, which is MSRVP, which stands for Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price. I just Google that okay so this is our output or our dependent variable okay so now let's create x and y variable in which our these two independent and independent variable will be stored in 
so we'll use uh, data just a second it's caps lock on so data set the variable in which it is stored dot i log okay and then uh sorry the parentheses are wrong just a second it should be a list okay and then we want to select all the uh, rows and the columns that we want to select are uh, just a second so this one is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so uh, so 12 13 and 14 okay so these are the three uh, columns that we want to select okay let's run this and then the y will also be the same let's change the variable name y and instead of these all columns we only want the 15th one okay so let's see how our x and y variable are looking okay so x is this one and y is our last one okay so pretty awesome now let's divide our data set into test and train so from sklearn dot uh, model selection we want to import our test as it should be train test split train uh, test uh, split okay let's see if my spellings are right uh, yep then let's divide our data set into test and train first let me write then i'll explain you that what each parameters are okay so we have to create four variables x chain x test y chain y test okay so if you want more in-depth knowledge of why we are doing this test and chain and how we are doing this test and chain i have a more detailed video the link will be provided in the description but here i am explaining you very briefly that how this is working okay so we are calling this chain test split class and then first variable is our independent variable second parameter is our dependent variable third is test size which means that what is the percentage of division of data set into train part okay so 80 percent of data set goes to the train part and 20 percent goes to the test part the random state defines that what will be the random division of data set into test and train if you want same answers as mine then make sure that this is zero okay you can select any value here it won't matter okay so let's run this now the magic is about to happen because we're gonna import the decision tree model okay okay so now let's create the regressor object so it will go like regressor and then uh i will copy this because i don't want to make a spelling mistake and then copy here and then we have to also select a random state here uh, which i will select zero you can select any value here okay now we'll train our model okay so we'll call this regressor dot fit okay so here we are training our model with our train data set so x train comma y train uh, just a second uh, it should be y train okay so let's run this okay so our model has been trained let's do the pre prediction so what we'll do is we'll uh, store the output into an output variable and then we'll simply do is regressor dot predict so we are using this predict method which will predict the value and we'll use our x test section of our data set now let me explain you that how these things are happening okay so we have created the regressor object of our decision tree regressor then we have trained our model from x chain and y chain and then we are making the prediction or applying this decision tree regression on the x test value and then we'll match that how close that values are to our y test data set okay so let's run this and let's see that how our output variable is looking okay so it, 
so let's select one value just a second so let so let's select one value so output and one uh, just a second it should be output and it is 203 let's see that how close is this on the uh, uh, y test and y test of one actually y test of one okay so it cannot be seen and sorry for the delay actually the thing was that we have to use the values i haven't done this over here this is why i have to call the values here okay so now here you can see that the output predicted by our decision tree algorithm and the real output are very close now we can see 213 2107 okay very close let me see some more values so this is it this was a short video in which i have tried to explain you that what decision tree is in the first part and then we have actually worked on a real data set i'll provide the link to the data set used in this video as well as the ipnb file or the ipython file this file on which we are working in the github repository the link will be provided below okay so meet you in my next lecture bye bye